Let's look at using the free iBooks app from Apple to download free ebooks directly to your iPad from the Project Gutenberg website. And Project Gutenberg is gutenberg.org. Uh, the Project Gutenberg website has over 33,000 free ebooks, which is a really good selection, although maybe not quite as many as, say, archive.org or openlibrary.org, both of which have well over a million books each. Um, but still, the Project Gutenberg is a great resource for finding free ebooks. And we're going to use an iPad emulator for this demonstration. What you want to do is launch the Safari web browser on your iPad and then navigate to www.gutenberg.org. And then you want to search for the book that you want to download. So you can search by author or title or search terms, words in the book. So let's just search for an author. And this actually does exist. Let me try it again. There we go. So once you find, say, the book that you want to download, and we're going to try messages from the Epistle to the Hebrews here, you'll click on it, and you'll get a, a selection of formats available for this book. And if you see an EPUB format, then that's the version that you want to download for the iBooks app on your iPad. And in some cases, like this book here, you'll see two EPUB versions one with images and one without images. So you can make your selection. You'll notice there's hardly any difference in size here. So we'll go with the EPUB format with images. And you'll click on the link, and then that will download it to your um, iBooks app. I can't do it here in this emulator. So when you click on it, what you're going to get is a screen in your browser that looks like this, where you'll have two buttons. One says, open in dot 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 and then the other one is open in iBooks. So essentially you're just going to click on open in iBooks. That'll download the book to your iBooks app and that's all there is to it. You can, if you want, click on open in dot 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 and you'll get a list of the other apps that are currently installed on your iPad which can also read the EPUB format. So if you wanted you can use a, a different app on your iPad to read this book. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to use the Open in iBooks button, which will simply download the book, launch your iBooks app, and open it to the first page.